Hello everyone, it is KitherC here, and welcome to my first ClickTeam Fusion tutorial. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a movable player. So, first you're going to want to right click on your application and insert an active object. You're, um, then you're going to want to double click on it, and you can design this any way you want. Um, but just to keep it simple, I'm going to change the size to the max, and then I'm just going to make it a red box. And I'm just going to click OK. And I'm just going to drag it here. So at the start of the frame, this is where the player starts. This is also optional. Uh, you can right click and rename it if you want. Uh, this does not affect the game. It's just if you want to find it easier. Then you're going to want to click on the player. Go to properties and select movement, static, and click eight directions. You can also select what directions you want it to go. So if you want it to only go up and down, you can only select these ones, or you can make it so only goes four. But for this, I'm just gonna make it so it can go all of them. So if you run your application, and use the arrow keys, it moves around, but you can go off the screen and you'll basically, yeah, you don't really want that. So you're gonna wanna go to the event editor, make a new condition, so when the player, uh, so test position, so position, test position of player, select all these arrows going, pointing out of the frame, click OK. So when the player leaves the play area, you want the player's movement to stop. So run the application, and when you try to leave, you, uh, you can't leave the frame, so that's good. So close that out. Uh, go back to the frame. And I'm going to insert an active object, and this is going to be my, my coins. I'm just going to also keep them simple. They're just yellow boxes. And yeah, just do that. I'm not going to rename them. Uh, I'm going to make some more active objects of it. So click on it. Right click, create, active object. There we go. Now we're going to uh, insert object. Actually, wait. So you're going to want to go to the event editor, make a new condition, so when the player collides with another object, active, it will destroy active. And then just do that, so player collides with an object, active 2, and you can drag that here, so it, it destroys active 2. And then do that one more time, or how many coins that you want to have, you can do more than one. So run the application, every single time you touch one, it disappears. Uh, let's say you want to keep track of your score, so you can go to, you can insert an object and type in counter, put in the counter, we'll just resize this. And you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to put in a string, resize that a bit. We'll make that size 22. Make that say score. So, uh, you can also change the color if you go here. So now I'm gonna go to so now you're gonna go to event editor. And so every single time you click one of these, it is going to add one to the counter. And just drag that down to here so run the application so every single time you hit one it will add one to the counter and there you go also if you want you can add another string here put that all the way down here make it say restart so if you want uh, you can restart the game I'm gonna change the color of this. Let's make it uh, turquoise. That, that's really hard to see. Better. Um, so we're gonna go to Event Editor, make a new condition. So when the person clicks on an object, or so when they click on String Two, which is the restart button, it will uh, restart the application. Let's try this out. 
So you just do that. You got all of them, but then you don't know what to do. Click restart. And there you go, it restarts. And that, everyone, is how you can make a little game where you can move around and collect coins. You guys probably came here from, uh, so you can see how to move around. That's totally fine. Um, if this helped you out, consider subscribing and leaving a comment down below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.